Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who calls us to love and serve the neighbor. I am speaking to you from my home country of Nigeria. My hope was to be with you, but I was unable to join you. I am well familiar with the ELCA and with your country after spending formative years here studying for my doctoral degree. I have fond memories and rich experiences from worshiping in ELCA congregations and studying at Luther Seminary in St. Paul, Minnesota. I met friends for life, and this has shaped me as a theologian and church leader. I also have fond memories from working with you as a staff member of the Lutheran World Federation, and now as its president. I greet you today on behalf of the LWF, a global communion of 149 churches in 99 countries. The ELCA has been a member since it was founded, and we are grateful for your strong commitment, for your participation and support to the mission of the LWF. Embody the word is the theme of your church-wide assembly. What a relevant theme this is in the year when we mark the 500th anniversary of Martin Luther's translation of the New Testament. The publication of the September Testament was a pivotal moment for the reformers, driven by the understanding that it was vital that believers could read and engage the Word of God, and driven by the understanding that engaging with Scripture was essential for the church as a whole, sola scriptura. At the same time, your theme refers to the incarnation of Jesus and the simple reality that as church, we always offer our witness in a particular context. To be church is to live in the dialogue between the word and the context. And as church, we are always speaking into a specific context, offering a witness for justice, peace, and reconciliation. That is what I have seen from the ELCA through the years and for which I always offer thanksgiving to God. Next year, the LWF will hold its own assembly in Krakow, Poland. As we prepare, we recall the third assembly of the LWF held 65 years ago in the United States. There, churches from all over the world came together with a strong willingness to work together in rebuilding and shaping the world. Our work has remained the same through those decades, supporting people in need, strengthening churches in mission, undertaking joint efforts in theology, working for the unity of the church. I look forward to seeing some of you at the assembly in Krakow as we come together under the theme, One Body, One Spirit, One Hope. In conclusion, I want to offer this encouragement. Always look first at what unites you and not at what divides you. Be ready to recognize God's grace given to your neighbor. I wish you the best for your church-wide assembly. My hope is that it will be an opportunity for you to strengthen what you hold in common, even as you experience and engage with differences. May you be transformed by the encounter with each other and by the mutual witness of faith you offer. And may your assembly strengthen your joint witness to the mercy of God in proclamation and service to the world. I thank you and grace to you all. Amen.